The former governor of River State and the minister of FCT, Nyeson Wiki, has officially introduced the politics of ethnicity in River State. Yes, Wiki has brought the politics of Lagos into River State. Wiki, while speaking to a section of River's people, said the Obiakbo are the real River's people. Wiki was trained shades to Governor Fubara and his people said they are all betrayers while eulogizing those from Obiakbo as the real Rivers people. He also went further to insult the former governor of River State, Peter Odili, and his wife, Mary Odili, by calling them one man and one woman. I'm going to allow you to watch the video. When you're done, please ensure you like, subscribe, and drop your comment reaction in the comment box. I'm going to see you at the end of the video while we're going to talk about what Nyeso Wiki is doing in River State. Okay, Chinda and Mary said, "Now you walk with me, and how God has blessed him today. God bless you because God knows you, you are a grateful person. Because God knows you are a straightforward person. Because God knows you are a consistent person." So many people find excuses to do whatever they want to do. I'm proud to come from other As you can see, because you will defend them. You can see those of us who are really from other I know there are so many people who are not from other who claim. They are from other people. But our characters will know them. Yes, sir. You have seen the speaker Martin Amewe. Yes, sir. You have seen the character of real other people. Yes, sir. You have seen Kiss Logan the Chinda. Yes, sir. That is true character of other people. Oh, yeah. You have known me, you have seen me. Yes. I came out in this country and I turned my party. Except you do the right thing. Who will fight injustice. That is the character of a real Obiako. Oh, and that also translates as a real reverse people. I hope you heard that clearly. That also translates as the real reverse people. Wiki has started playing the politics of ethnicity. He has started separating the reverse people, spitting them against one another. Watch further, listen further. We'll be back. You have seen Kiss Logan the Chinda. Yes, sir. That is true character of other oh, person. Yeah. You have known me, you have seen me. Yes. I came out in this country and I turned my party. Except you do the right thing, we will fight injustice. That is the character of a real other person. And that also translates as a real reverse people. There are people. Who said they are reversible? But by the antecedent, it cannot be irreversible. <laughs> no real equivalent man says that and goes back. <laughs> no real equivalent man will tell you you will vomit and take back. That cannot be an equivalent man. And that cannot be a reverse. I built 12 flyovers in 4 years. From 2019 to 2023. I don't want to talk about roads. I built the cancer center. Yes. On record time. By the Dutch Construction Company, Jerusalem. And I didn't need that one man. I built the Dutch Construction Company, Jerusalem. Now, let's leave Inyesu Wiki aside for a moment and let's talk about the people on the background, the people that are cheering him or the people that are hailing him. Because if there were no ignorant people on the background cheering and hailing him, Inyesu Wiki wouldn't have gone on and on to say what he's saying. He wouldn't have done that. Now look at what Nyeso Wike is trying to do. He's having issues with his godson, uh, Fubara. And I don't really want to go into the details of the issues they are having. Nyeso Wike is the past governor of River State. And currently, uh, Fubara is the executive governor of River State. And that respect should be accorded unto him. When Nyeso Wike was talking, 
He said there are people who claim to be Ikwere, and somebody at the background mentioned the Igbo people. Igbo people are not claiming to be Ikwere. The Ikweres are Igbos. We are not going to dispute that. We are, we, are, we are not going to dispute that fact. The Ikweres are Igbos. But you know, people always try to distort history because you have the same culture, you have the same language, even your name. But you say you are not the same kind of people. But people just want to change history for their own benefit. That's the reason why histories are not being taught in school. Now he went on talking about the Equires. They will be about being the real Rivers people. That is a political statement because there are so many tribes in River State. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you the tribes in River State. What Nyesowike is trying to cause here is to cause polit political ethnicity in River State. He's trying to play the politics that is being played in Lagos State, where some people, Yorubanes, are being taken away from them because they don't support APC. You have people from Osun State, you have people from Ogun State that comes to Lagos State. And they claim they are the real Lagosians because they are in APC, they are ruling, they have the power. But the real Lagosians, people like Ruth Vivor, whose fourth generations are the real Lagosians, are being told that they are not real Lagos. They are not real Lagosians because the Ruth Vivor's mother is from Ibu. They are being told that they are not the real Lagosians. Whereas people from Ogun states, from other states who came into Lagos, are being told that they are real Lagos people because they have the power. That is the same thing that Inyesu Wike is trying to do in River State. And there are people on the background that are hailing him. What is the meaning of these are the real rivers? Calling the Equarius, the Obia boss, as the real rivers. What is the meaning of that statement? He's trying to divide River State along the ethnic line. And that is what politics is all about in Nigeria. If you cannot get politics through the people, they get politics through ethnicity. If you don't get it through ethnicity, you get it through the religious sentiment. And that is what Wiki is trying to play in River State. Now, in the case where he insulted the former governor, Peter Rodili, Peter Rodili was a former governor of River State. He was in good terms when Yeso Wiki was in power. Yes, we can enjoy so much legacies from Peter Odili's wife. Of course, during his first term, when Yes, we was about to be impeached by the federal government led Urutimi Amechi, it was Governor Odili's wife that came to his rescue through the judicial process. Yes, we can openly thank her for helping him to secure his victory in the Supreme Court today. The both of them have issues. They have issues. And he's now calling a former governor of the state one man. And a wife one man, one woman. That is what Inyeso Wike is trying to do. People are not going to be loyal to you forever. You are no longer the governor of River State. The joy, the excitement they enjoy while you were in power is no longer there. There's a new sheriff in town. Why is Inyeso Wike finding it very difficult to understand that there is a new sheriff in town? Who is Governor Fubara? That, that it is happening in Lagos does not mean it will happen in the River State. There are so many tribes in River State. And every one of them, they are distinct. They will be at us. They are not the only tribe in River State. The Query tribe are not the only tribe in, in River State. So Inyeso Wike should stop Rallying up tribal sentiment. Now, I promise you that I'm going to give you the names of the tribes in River State. For those of you who may not understand and you think that, oh, the Equator people, they are the major. They are the original. They are the owners of River State. No, they are not the originals of River State. That they are the, that they are the most populous does not mean they are the original inhabitants of River State. Now, listen, they have the Kula tribe. The Kula tribe are found in Akukutoru local government area of River State. The Kula people speak language called Kalabari. Not much is known about the history of these people, however, they share a lot with the Ijo people. The Kula people are predominantly farmer and fishermen. Now they have the Ikwere tribe, which Yeso Wiki is saying that they are the Rivera people. The Ikwere people are the tribe that occupies the present day Portacourt. They are just opportune to be in the present day Portacourt. A lot of people consider this tribe to be an offshoot of the Igbo tribe, like I said earlier. The offshoot of the Igbo tribe, because if you look at it, culturally, they are distinct with the Igbo people, they bear the same name. Although a lot of Ikwere indigenous do not consider themselves to be related to the Igbo tribe, they speak a language that is much related to the Igbo. All these things are just people that are just trying to change history. They are just trying to change history. They have the Ibani tribe. The Ibani tribe is one of the tribe of the Ijo nation. The Ibani people occupy Boni Island and have also had interaction with Europeans for many years. The people of Boni are traders they, and they practice 
Christianity. They had the Abua tribe. The Abua people live about 10 miles from Portacot. It is believed that the Abua people are the real owners of Portacot. It is believed the Abua people are the real owners of Portacot. But because the Equiri people, they are dominant. These same Equiri people are crying. They are shouting of what? Ethnic domination from the Igbos. But these are the same people that have now driven the Abua people out of Portacot. Now they have the Boma tribe. The, this Boma tribe is one of the tribes of the Ijo nation. There are 13 settlements in this tribe. They have the Degema tribe. The Degema occupies Degema Island, the Degema local government area in River State. They have the Nkoro tribe. The Nkoro tribe is a very small tribe. It's a sub tribe from the Ijo nation. They have the Ekpeye tribe. The Ekpeye tribe is a tribe that occupies the Ahoda and the Oba Ebema part of Rivers state they are also similar to the Igbos and they speak Igbo. they have the opobo tribe the opobo tribe as well as a city in the river state they have the four towns that make up the opobo tribe they are the queenstown the ekbelomo the kalabiama and the opobo town the existence of this tribe this back like is an it's one of the oldest tribe in the river state you have heard of the king judges of opobo they have the ogoni these are also major tribe of the river state the ogoni people are the major tribe in river state the Ogoni, they, they are the major settlements in River State. This tribe became popular after the execution of Kensari. We were, you heard about Kensari we were, and uh, the Abacha DC. But these people are not making noise. They have the Nkoro tribe. The people of Nkoro should not be mistaken of the Nkoro people. These tribes have similar names. However, they are very di different people. The people of Nkoro speak a language called Nkoro and live in a very close association with the Defeka people. They have the Eleme tribe. The Eleme tribe live in Eleme local government area. They have the Egeni tribe. And the Egeni people are found in the Ahuda West. They have the Eche tribe. They take double as a tribe and local government area in Rivers. The Eche people speak language that is believed to be dialect of the Igbo, the Igbo region. You have the Ijo tribe. Now, the Ijo is, is this, this tribe is the biggest riverine part of Nigeria of, of, of Nigeria. That is the, the biggest river. And you can find them in almost every part of this of, of the Niger Delta. And they're also part of River State. So what is Nyesovike trying to do? He's trying to divide rivers people along ethnic line. And this line is he's he's going. It's very wrong. It's wrong. Those people that are cheering him should call him to order. He should stop. Thank you very much for watching. Please ensure you like, subscribe, and drop your comment reaction in the comment box. I'm going to see you in the next video.